Okay guys, it is Arika Misha and today I wanted to come and show you guys a little quick, easy recipe, uh, something that I've cooked a million times, but I realized I have not cooked it for the channel. So what we have here is the original Biscuit Pancake and Baking Mix. And as you guys can see, just give you guys a close up. This is by Betty Crocker, of course, and give you guys a close up look here. I make the pancakes. You can make the waffles. I make the biscuits. They've got all kind of recipes, uh, muffins, like a strawberry shortcake kind of thing. But what we're going to be doing today, we're going to be doing the biscuits. Um, I'm going to be doing the regular biscuits. And also, as you can see on the back, they've got a lot of recipes. They've got the pancake and waffle recipe, classic biscuits. We're going to be doing that today. Uh, they've got here. Um, coconut pie, strawberry shortcake, cheesy garlic biscuits. We're going to be doing that too. And they also have dumplings. They've got a lot of recipes on the back of this box and they're easy recipes. So today we're going to be doing the classic biscuits and we're going to be doing the garlic, uh, the cheesy garlic biscuits. So I've got two separate bowls because of course we're doing two different biscuits. All right, so let's do... First thing we're going to do is the classic biscuits. Let me move this bowl out the way. And I've got my pans over here uh, lined up with parchment paper. You know, so that way the biscuits don't stick. Because I learned that, you know, that they stick like one time I made them. But alright, let's get into this. Alright, so the only thing we need for the classic biscuits. Uh, I've already got my oven preheated to 450 degrees. I already have the oven preheated over there. All right, so two cups of the mix, uh, two third cups of milk, and one tablespoon of vegetable oil. That is it for the classic biscuits. So two cups, got my measuring cup here. Two cups of our mix. All right, one. A little sloppy, but it'll be all right. I always get mixed everywhere. Two. Okay, so we got two cups over there. And you know what? Let's go ahead and pour this one as well while I'm pouring. The cheesy biscuits are the same thing. Two cups of the mix. One. Let's go ahead. Get that poured in. That would be actually the rest of our mix. Two. Okay. All right. So we've got two cups in each. All right. So that is it. And my Bisquick mix, you guys can get from anywhere, of course. Uh, but I did get my Bisquick mix. I'll show you guys that again from Publix. It was buy one, get one. Y'all know me and my bogos. All right. So let's move that out of the way. Okay. So over here in our classics, uh, okay, two cups of the mix, two third cups of milk, and one tablespoon of vegetable oil. Now for milk, I'll be using the silk almond milk, unsweetened vanilla. That's what I'm gonna be using. You know, like a substitute. You can use whatever you want. You can use regular milk, low fat milk, whatever milk you wanna use. Today, I'm using the silk almond milk. Uh, and it's unsweet, but it's vanilla. Two third cups. Let me measure that out. Where's my two thirds over here? Two. Okay, there it is. All right, we got two third cups of milk. Two third cups and one tablespoon of vegetable oil. All right, got our vegetable oil. It is a rainy, stormy day here in Florida. Well, we just got a little rain right now. We are in the middle of hurricane season. I don't know when you guys are going to see this video. I schedule things, you know, I like to stay ahead on my schedule. So I schedule things out ahead of time. Let me get something to mix this with. But yeah, we are in the middle of hurricane season here in sunny Florida. So let's get this mixed. 
we got that two third cups of milk in there and uh, one tablespoon of vegetable oil that's it and this makes let me see how many biscuits this makes this makes says I should get I think it's eight biscuits yep I think it's supposed to make eight biscuits I'm trying to read the back of this box yeah I think it's eight biscuits so since I'm making the cheesy ones eight biscuits will be enough my one daughter wanted the plain biscuits the other daughter wanted the cheesy biscuits so I was like you know what I'll just do both for the channel because I've cooked them for us before and the girls love them so I said, let me just show them a little quick recipe for the biscuits. And that is how our mix is looking. Just looking like some dough, you know? Like biscuit dough. All right, let me get a spoon. Got my oven preheated. All right, put that over there. All right, let's move this mix for right now. Moving that out the way. Table a little messy. All right, so we got that all mixed up real good. Let's go ahead and get these um, down on our parchment paper. Show you guys how I've got my parchment paper already here on our pan. Let me adjust everything here. So it's crowded at the table. It is crowded. I'm trying to move my pan over so you guys can see. Okay. All right. Okay. So you can see our pan. All right. I think it's supposed to make like eight biscuits. Okay. And I'm doing like, you know, like a nice fat spoonful. All right. Whoa. Yeah, I'm just smacking it down. Ain't gotta be nothing special. I think I won't smack it down like that. I think I'll just take my. Let me get another spoon to help me get this mix down. Cause it is, it is a thick, you know, like a thick doughy mix. I want to make them a nice size. I don't want to make them small. Alright. Mmm, looking good. Looking good. Wait, y'all can't see. Hold on, y'all. What kind of mess? Okay, alright. Now y'all can see. It's a lot going on at the table since I'm making two different kind of biscuits. It's a little crowded. It's a little crowded. And of course, I love the fact of having that parchment paper so that my biscuits don't stick. Okay. All right. I got enough for one more biscuit. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, yep. Six biscuits. You know, according to however size you want to make them. And y'all know I ain't making no wimpy biscuits. And these taste really good. You know, just something nice and quick and easy to make. You know, you want to do a quick biscuit. It's basically what this is. Nice little quick, easy biscuit, you know, to make. All right. So I will leave most spoons here. Okay. And like I said, I've got my oven already preheated. I already got the oven preheated to 450. And it says 12 to 13 minutes. Last time I cooked it on 12 minutes. So, all right. That is it for our regular biscuits. I'm going to go ahead and get these in the oven real quick. And put my timer on. Okay. Timer. 
All right, 13 minutes. All right, let me move on real quick to our next batch, which is the cheesy biscuits. All right, two cups of the mix, uh, two third cups of milk for this as well. Okay, two third of milk. Um, let me measure out two thirds of milk again. All right, that milk in there. What else we got? Okay, two cups of the mix, two third cups of milk, one tablespoon of vegetable oil, half a cup of shredded cheese. Okay, one tablespoon of oil. Uh -oh. All right, and half a cup of shredded cheddar cheese. That's dropping. Okay, we've got a half a cup of shredded cheese. Gonna dump that in there. And that's it, let me make sure. Uh, two cups of the mix, two thirds of uh, milk, I did that, one tablespoon of vegetable oil, um, half a cup of shredded cheese. Okay, and butter, two tablespoons of butter, and one, uh, what's that? Half a teaspoon of garlic powder. I already did that. I've got the butter and the garlic powder all day. I'm going to microwave and melt that. Of course, you know you melt that. You put it across the top of your biscuits when they're done. Yeah. That's optional. That's what you want to do. Okay. Now, let's get this mixed up. Looks yummy. Nothing like a cheesy biscuit. Yummy. Okay, I'm glad they had both recipes on the back of the box. That made it easier for me. And it don't take long to mix it up either. Quick, easy mix. Show y'all that mix with the little pieces of cheese in it. Looks yummy. I'm ready for the cheesy biscuits. Everything mixed up real good. Let's remove this. We'll use the same two spoons over here. Let's get our pan. Make sure y'all can see. Okay. All right. Let's get this fork out of here. Okay. All right, let's scoop it. We're gonna do the same thing, same amount that we did with the other biscuits. We should get the same amount. Except these got cheese in them. These are gonna be Cheesy biscuits. Who don't like a cheesy biscuit? Okay, that one might come out a little big, but that's okay. Okay. Yeah, we get the same amount of biscuits. Six biscuits like we did with the other batch. This one's going to be a big one, too. All right. Let's do it, then. Let's do it. Oh, when can I, where can I squeeze the big one? Okay. We're going to have to squeeze it over here. Yeah, that's going to be a big one. Uh, let me see. Let's scrape. See if I can scrape some more and add to this other one that's looking real small. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. All right, I mean, they ain't gotta be perfect looking biscuits. Give y'all a close up look at those biscuits. Like I said, they ain't gotta be perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these in the oven, guys. And when I come back, it's gonna be the grand finale. Quick, homemade, classic biscuits, cheesy biscuits, easy. I'll be back. 
Okay guys, we are back with our biscuits. As you guys can see how they turned out. Now one thing about these biscuits, because I've cooked them a million times, just haven't cooked them for the channel. Um, you can't like overcook them because if you do, you know, they get too hard in the middle, hard on the outside. So you have to cook them perfect. And I know they kind of like, let me take you guys in. Okay, these are the plain biscuits, the plain ones. All right, and then the cheesy ones. Cheesy ones look the best, of course, because they got cheese in them. But as you can see, you know, they, they have a light brown across the top. They don't, you know, turn dark, dark brown like biscuit biscuits. But, yeah, you got you to gotta cook them just right because if you overcook them, they uh, get dry and flaky in the middle. So I did the 13 minutes. Um, the, the instructions say 11 or 13 minutes, something like that. I did 13 minutes and then I, I did like an extra minute so they can get a little browner. So a total of 14 minutes is what I did for the biscuits. So yeah, I've got my garlic and butter. Well, no, my yeah, garlic and butter. I melted that. Go ahead and drape that over the biscuits. I just wanted y'all to see me doing that. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. That garlic and butter. Oh, I know that's going to be good, good, good. So, just draping that garlic butter over the top. I know that's going to be good. So, make sure I put enough on this big one. And let that soak in. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. That garlic and butter smells so good. yeah that's it we got our biscuits all garlicky garlicky don't know if that's a word but whatever so let me take y'all in so y'all can see those real good oh yeah cheesy garlicky all that good stuff oh that one looks good take y'all in see if my camera will let me come on camera See if my camera let me zoom y'all in to be nosy. Okay, maybe. Back up a little bit, maybe. Oh, my camera, I tell you. He's so sometime and child. He. <laughs> All right. Anyway. All right, guys. Let me show y'all another quick look at the regular biscuits. Show y'all how those came out. Zoom y'all in. Yeah, just like a little biscuit guys you see me do it so you know i did it this is arika misha thank you so much for watching guys don't forget to like comment share subscribe follow me on all my social media at arika misha guys thanks bye